Hello everyone, I'm Soyan Park from Georgia Tech. Today I'm giving a talk about fuzzing JavaScript engine with aspect pressure beam mutation. So these days, everyone may use web browser to send email, transfer money, and find information on the web. In this group, around 4 billion users are using web browser in the world. As every major web browser embeds JavaScript engine inside, it means a huge number of people will be affected if the JavaScript engine has a security critical bug. To make it more interesting, let me make a story. Let's assume that a user wants to check our paper information on my lab website. So he entered the web URL and get the website. To get the information about SMP conference, he clicked the hyperlink, which should let him go to the conference website. However, this one click makes his laptop being hacked so that it leads to leak sensitive data such as password, bank account, and private data because hacker can gain control over his laptop. To share another indicator to show the severity of JavaScript bug, we collect the last four years Pontoon result, which is the top industry hacking competition against major commercial software, including web browser. Among the 11 successful trials to hack the major four browser, Edge, Safari, Chrome, and Firefox, nine bugs utilize JavaScript vulnerability to get the remote code execution. So I guess we all understand how severe it is in the wild. However, finding JavaScript bug is hard in reality because of several reasons. First of all, JavaScript and the code base is very large. The smallest one, JavaScript core for Safari, has written almost 450k code. And the largest one, SpiderMonkey for Firefox, has 1 million. And many of the bugs found recently is going to deep code paths more and more. For example, JavaScript engine is consisted of parser and interpreter in high level and several layers of JIT compiler and executor. Many of simple bugs located on parser and interpreter can be found by simple API fuzzing. However, most bugs in recent days are located on JIT compiler like due to the wrong optimization. To show the trend of recent bugs, we collected recent reported security bugs in Chakra Core from 2016 to August 2019 from the Google Project Zero issue tracker and Chakra Core security patch. The graph shows that parser, interpreter, and memory corruption bugs relatively considered as simple and shallow bugs are decreasing, but out-of-bound and type confusion bugs on JIT compiler, which is considered more complex and deep bugs, are increasing. So finding JavaScript bug like a small number of expert human hacker is definitely not easy. Here are two POC codes for CVEs motivating us that payload can have a similarity even if the root cause of the bug in code level is totally different. Both POC are written by same hacker so that it looks similar. The second bugs need special conditions and variation to be discovered. First, both has full loop as precondition to trigger JIT compiler, and also pass empty object as parameter to trigger wrong JIT optimization. Then both POC calls the JIT function, OPT, again with different parameter, which all have side effect for different reasons, but has the same function type. Third, the order of instruction in JIT function is important to leave wrong optimization as well. However, the second bug includes more variation that the further can be good at. From this example, we get the idea that getting key factor from the existing bug and combining them with a variation generated with fuzzy way can make a good result. So we code the key factor as aspect, which are embedded in the POC of existing bugs and help to guide to discover new bugs. Here is a type confusion box which makes 
the general index value of the array to object type from float type. For example, this POC has three aspects we think important to lead the type confusion. First is the assigning float values to an array and the order of instructions as it triggers wrong JIT optimization. Next one is the for loop invoking JIT compiler. And last one is the the arrow function to assign object value to the same array which leads the main region of the time co type confusion. So we propose that a fuzzing framework which has its own strong generation engine and mutation engine which preserve aspect of the existing bug. In the big picture, DAI is consisted of three parts, preprocessor, input generator, and executor. Let me introduce one by one in further slides. The first component, the original seeds are conveyed is preprocessor. It instruments the original seed to get the type of identifier in the seed dynamically. With the type information generated by the dynamic analysis, it produces AST, which has type information for every node. Then the typed AST is passed forward for input generation. In detail, our dynamic analyzer instrument corpus to record type per each line. For example, at the first record type function call, our type information box is empty. However, at the second function call, it records the type of variable n as a number. And at the, at the last function call, it also records the array type and the number arrays. It's possible because Dai maintains more fine-grained type system than JavaScript itself. At the end, every record of type information is gathered and sent to further process as type information. This information allows us to get every object and its type information for each line so that we can get a more precise object and type information in specific scope and context. Further, we need a static analysis to make every AST node have type information. From the previous analysis, we get the type information of the corpus, but it only includes the type of identifiers. So we propagate the information from bottom to top based on custom rules. For example, number type will be assigned to the array indexing operation node as the variable A is number array. Special nodes which we don't want to change will be assigned to immutable type so that the further mutation engine will not choose this node to mutate. Next step is input generation, which uses the typed AST as input and return JavaScript file. DAI generates the input with generation engine and mutation engine, but our mutation engine it has a special feature called aspect preserving. To maintain aspect of existing bug, DAI preserves type and structure during mutation. For example, in the previous bug example, the type of identifiers such as float, array, function, and object type will be maintained during mutation. In addition, the order of the instructions and control flow related statements such as for loop will be preserved as well. Let me explain the detail of type preserving mutation. I first get the typed AST and type information from the previous process. In this example, we want to mutate the marked number type. Then the generation engine will generate typed AST node, which is a number type, by utilizing existing identifier in the context. In this example, it produces array property and array indexing as a number type. For this, our generation engine maintains type information of parameter and return value of JavaScript API and type information of properties for every type of object. Finally, mutation engine replaces the existing node in the typed AFT to the generated type node 
like the figure. While type preserving is focusing on what to mutate and how to mutate, structure preserving is more about what not to mutate. The mutation engine selectively mutates nodes to avoid breaking existing control flow. For example, the mutation engine can choose any node in the AST to mutate it except the immutable type. At the final stage, Dai executes the mutated JavaScript file with instrumented JavaScript engine in the distributed fuzzing platform. During execution, if the seed reaches new code path, it returns the, the updated code coverage information to the input generator as feedback. If it reaches crash during execution, it will report it. Dai is mostly written in TypeScript. Few framework harness is written in Python and ShellScript, and small modification on AFL to adopt code coverage feedback routine. In total, it has written in nearly 90k lines of code. In this section, I will show the, the evaluation results fuzzing JavaScript engine with Dai in the wild, and extra information which stand for the techniques we implemented on Dai. To test DAI with commercial browsers in the market, we, we ran it up to three weeks against three major JavaScript engines used for Microsoft Edge, Apple Safari, and Google Chrome. As a result, we got 48 unique bugs in total. Among them, 39 bugs have been fixed, and 11 bugs are acknowledged as CVE because of their similarity. Also, we got 27k US dollar as bug bounty reward. To show the effect effectiveness of a reversing aspect for finding bugs, we manually checked 84 distinct crashes and 28 unique bugs in chakra core. As a result, we observed that 50% of found bugs and 48% of crashes are seriously affected by structure and type preserving. In total, more than 90% of found bugs and crashes are affected by our aspect preserving, which means that you cannot reproduce 90% of the bug if you eliminate the market structure or ignore type information in the generated seed. Here is one example bug we found. It was generated based on existing CV in 2018. Although it looks simple modification from the seed, it can be invoked because of our strong generation engine and aspect preserving mutation. In the example, these green statements are generated with type information as we can know the type of the variable start is number and the type of the variable ARR is float array in the scope. Next, the if statement and the first statement should be intact to invoke wrong JIT optimization. Also, the small modification from number 3 to variable i can happen because of type preserving mutation. To evaluate the aspect preserving of die, we use the ratio difference of JIT optimization phase invocation between the generated inputs and seed file because we believe the difference can indirectly represent how many aspects are devastated. As a result, DAI maintains JIT optimization pace invocation 1.53 times more than DAI without structure preserving, which shows that the structure preserving helps to maintain aspect well. Also, code documents shows 4.29 times more differ from the original because it breaks corpus as code fragment, and the aspect will be broken during the process as well. Superior shows negligible difference from DAI. It is because superior is also a mutation-based fodder, and it tries to mutate things in grammar-based way. To show the power of our generation engine, we evaluated the validity of generated input by counting runtime error rate of generated input. The result shows that DAI generated 2.31 times more valid input than Superion and Code Alchemist, and 2.42 times more than JS Fun Fun. In detail, 
Superion generates many syntax error prune input, which shows that its mutation rules include a lot of grammar error, although it mutates based on grammar rules. Also, code alchemist generates many reference error and type error, which means that their type and scope analysis might not work well. Java JS font produce three types of error on similar ratio, which shows that its generation rule is not well implemented. Although Dai also generates more error-prone input than vanilla, which is original cocos. However, we figure out that it is because recovery feedback makes invalid input to the queue to the queue so that the invalid input continues to be used. To evaluate our generation engine in precise way, we turn off the code coverage feedback routine and reevaluate it. The result shows that it produces less error rate than vanilla. As a final, we compared the number of unique crashes die and the other state-of-the-art folder switch for 24 hours. Die reaches more crashes than Superion and Code Alchemist during the same period. One interesting fact is that die reaches more crashes than die without structure programming as well, which shows that restricting folding somehow can be helpful to find more bugs. To sum up, Dai is a JavaScript engine folder that preserves the aspect from POC of existing bugs achieved by time and structure preserving. And we discovered 48 unique bugs with 11 CV assigned. And we will open source our project in this link. Thank you for listening.